Yo, Elliot, I've been diving into your reading list and have learned a lot about masculine archetypes from the King Warrior Magician Lover book. I was listening to a lecture recorded by Robert Moore about the lover, and he said that men tend to overdevelop their warrior because their lover is vulnerable. I see this with guys who are woman haters. They got abused, so now they're hyper vigilant and macho. Have you ever developed your lover energy along with your warrior? Um, just to answer your question as it relates to me, right? You're asking me, have I ever developed my warrior, my lover? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been an addicted lover since I was 14 years old and started having sex with the woman that ultimately became my wife. And now I have children. I have three daughters. Uh, there's a lot of lover energy that is required to be a husband for that long and to have grown children and to be uh, in the situation I am. I can't, you can't do this without lover energy, <laughs> right? Uh, developing your lover energy has everything to do with appreciation. Anytime you can appreciate, and it's a slippery slope because the, 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 because the addicted lover, which in my opinion, we're suffering more with addicted lovers than, uh, you know, the overdeveloped warriors. I don't think we have an overdeveloped warrior problem in our culture. There are those, there are definitely there. But I think, and you know, I say overdeveloped, I mean um, imbalanced, right? Too much. What I think we really have a problem with is overdeveloped, unresourceful lover energy. And that's why I speak the way I speak. I'm not against lover energy. I'm a, I'm a great big lover. If you've ever, and like I said, the word appreciation is associated with lover energy. If you can appreciate things in a, in a responsible way, you are a lover right? If you can appreciate a good song, right? Like, wow, that music is great. You can appreciate good music, right? Even pop culture media, right? If you can appreciate a good movie, you can appreciate a good book. You can appreciate a good cigar. You can appreciate a fine wine. You can appreciate artwork, right? If you can appreciate, you're exercising your lover. The problem is, and the one that I stand behind and fight against is when that lover leads to addiction. A man can appreciate a woman, beautiful woman, right? You're at the mall, or you're at the supermarket, whatever it is, beautiful woman walks by. A well-developed, mature lover is going to appreciate. Wow, much appreciation for that beauty as it walks by. But then he'll go back to shopping and forget about her completely. The addicted lover is the one that will look at her and then start fantasizing. And then he's gonna turn away, but he can't get her out of his mind. And then he's gonna sneak around the corner to get another look at her. And then he's gonna go home later and he's gonna beat himself up because he was like, whoa, I should have said something to her. Oh man, she could have been the one that's the most beautiful woman I ever seen. And he's going he's gonna to lament and he's going to think and he's going to feel and he's going to dream about her. Wow. And then he might do something even more creepy and weird. Like, I'm going to go, I'm going to ask the guy behind the counter for her credit, her name from her credit card. And then I'm going to go look her up on Facebook. Like guys do shit like that. That's an addicted lover whose lover energy has turned perverted. Or how about this? I like smoking a nice cigar. Wow, that's a really good cigar. It draws very nicely. It's got a nice flavor, a good taste. You smoke the cigar, you put the cigar down. But then the guy who becomes an addict is like, well, I finished this cigar. Let me go get another one. I'm going to start smoking cigarettes. Wow, I really enjoy this tobacco high. I'm going to start vaping because I want to be able to smoke cigars when I'm inside the house, but the cigars smell too bad. And so this guy's got a pack of cigarettes, he's got cigars, and he's got his vape. He's at home vaping while he's doing his work. He goes outside, he has a cigarette break, and every moment he gets, he lights up a cigar. Whoa, what happened to just appreciate, just appreciate, just enjoy that, just enjoy a little bit. People do that with drugs, they do it with alcohol, they do it with women, they do it with all kinds of things, man. P video games, right? I, you know, I enjoy every once in a while getting down and playing a good game of video games with my buddies, right? But then the guy who wakes up first thing in the morning, I gotta get on my video game, I gotta beat that level. Then when he's on his lunch break, I gotta beat that level, I gotta go get, play that game. Then all night long when he's supposed to be sleeping, he's up there with his eyes turning bloodshot, playing the video game. 
hooked on the video game. That's addicted lover energy. That's unresourceful energy. And we see too much of it. Pornography is another one, <clears throat> right? Pornography is taking the appreciation of a beautiful woman and then turning it into a perverted thing that you see on the screen and being addicted to it every day. Even, even jerking off, masturbating. Look, I, I, I'm not against masturbating per se, right? Like if a man masturbates, it happens, right? But if you got to do that every day, if you're, multi, if you're jerking off multiple times a day, multiple times a week even, and you're watching porn and, you're, and things are starting to fall down around you, you can't have normal relationships with women, you can't keep a job, you're always listless and tired, you're getting, getting sick all the time, you have no motivation, but yet every day you're, 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 you're beating your meat and watching porn, now you got a problem. So I know I'm kind of going far in the opposite direction than your question. You say that Robert Moore, what he says about the lover is that men tend to overdo their warrior because their lover is vulnerable. Here is the backlash, right? And I'm not necessarily saying that it's a wrong thing either, but when you appreciate and then you don't, and then you have expectation, that's the problem. When you appreciate, especially when it's dealing with another person, you appreciate that person. So say, for example, a woman, you appreciate that woman. And let's say, you let her know you appreciate her, right? By saying something about it, right? Is that a good idea or not? I don't know. But let's say you go and you appreciate or that appreciation for that woman now makes you take steps towards engaging, right? And taking that appreciation to the next level. But she doesn't reciprocate. That means you had a hang up. You were hanging on to something. You were holding on to something. You had an expectation. And when people have expectations and they don't get what they expect, they grow hard, they go harsh, they get sour grapes. And I think that's what he's referring to in this instant. He says, men will develop their warrior to protect themselves against the hurt of an appreciation that, that, what, that wasn't reciprocated. But you can avoid that completely by having a well-balanced lover. Uh, and a well-balanced lover is a person that can appreciate in a detached way. I can have a drink, but I don't have to get drunk. I can be, I can appreciate this woman, but I don't have to stalk her. You see what I'm saying? So that's coming, you know, that, that's, that's wrapping it all up there for you. But just to come full circle with your question to me, because I know a lot of people question Elliot. What is Elliot? Some kind of hardcore warrior that has nothing but armor on and thinks in terms of strike and fight and has no love and warmth in his heart. I couldn't have a happy wife. <laughs> if I didn't have an appreciative bent towards her. I appreciate my wife all day long. I appreciate her with my lips, both kissing and speaking. I tell her I appreciate her. And she knows I appreciate her by the way I act and the way I live. And by mere virtue of the fact that we've been together damn near 30 years. You can't, it doesn't work. If you have a wounded lover, relationships don't work. Relationship, most relationships don't work because people have wounded lovers, they have wounded lover energy, and that turns them into an addict. And, and a person, two people who have wounded lovers, their relationship does not work, does not work. I mentioned this before, and I'll mention it again. It may or may not be popular advice based on who's listening, because people have different opinions about the things that I say. I often terms talk in terms, I oftentimes talk in terms of alpha and beta to be an alpha male or to be a beta male. And it's not a hard and fast straight line thing because there's times when you're required to exercise your alpha. This is an opportunity, this is a chance, this is a crisis moment where you need to step up and be a man that's not afraid to speak his mind. He doesn't mind being judged by other people. He knows what's right and he's going to do it anyway. That's being alpha. But there are times where you have to set that aside and be a little beta. Any man who's married, what's his name? Uh, Rolo Tomasi likes to say purple pill, right? As opposed to red pill, which is you talking about women haters. If you take red pill to as extreme, you might end up being a woman hater or a woman manipulator. And that's what a lot of guys, look, I, I follow a lot of people on YouTube that are red, red pill. Some of them, look, I'm not judging them, like let them do what they want to do. But I can see that they're just women manipulators. They, they, they understand women for what they are, but they use that to turn their manipulation back on the women and they just manipulate women, right? 
that's coming from a wounded place, meaning like I'll never actually be soft with you. I'll show you what you need to see and, and tell you what you need to hear so I can get what I want from you. But other, but otherwise, I'm going to discard you. That's, you know, that's the behavior of a lot of guys that are that are gone too far one way. And of course, the blue pill, these are guys that believe anybody who says believe all women, <laughs> any man who says that is a blue pill beta cuck. Believe all women. Any man who says he's a feminist, right? He doesn't understand female nature and he doesn't understand his own nature. And that's why he says those dumb things. He's too far blue. So you got too far red, you got too far blue. Purple pill is what's required for a man to be a good husband and father. There's no father. There's no good father. Let me put it that way. There's no good father and hus husband and family man that doesn't have a bit of red and you need a bit of blue, especially with me. I got three daughters. I got to be blue a lot of times. Right? And I, I enjoy being that blue because I want to do nice things, give nice things, and be open to the love of my family. Right? You got to do that if you're going to be good. So the whole idea here is that we want to find balance. If your relationships are suffering, you might have, and for the most part, too much lover energy. Too much lover energy is what I see with the guys in my program. Too much lover energy is what I get from the questions that I read of you guys. Too much lover energy is why women don't respect you, your wives deny you sex, and you're struggling to maintain your frame in your relationships. Trying, you struggle ha trying to create attraction in your relationships, right? Too much lover, too kind, too soft. And I'll leave you with this, two funny memes I saw the other day. <laughs> One was a girl, she was wearing a shirt, I kid you not. And she said, and the shirt says, nice guys can't fuck. Think about that one for a moment. Think about nice guys and how they behave with women, right? And put them on a pedestal. She had a shirt on complaining about nice guys and her assertion in that shirt was nice guys can't fuck. I'll couple this with the exact opposite in a meme that might, might kind of enlighten things a little bit for you there. There was a, there was a split picture. <laughs> Top of the picture was a, was, a, was a woman, she was smiling and it says, how women smile at nice guys. And she was just like this, like, uh, you know, like that look, like that awkward smile, like, uh, okay, right? How women smile at nice guys. And then the bottom was, was how women smile for bad guys. Somebody was behind her, the guy was behind her, she was on her knees and he was cutting her teeth like this. What does that tell you? <laughs> what women want, right? Anyway, I'll, I'll let you make your mind up about that, right? Too much lover energy, women didn't, are not gonna respect you, they're not gonna like you, they're not gonna be attracted to you, right? When you yanking on her hair and you pulling her mouth, <laughs> she loves it because she wants a warrior too. Right? We got to learn that just because our, what our mommy expected of us is not what women want from us. Stop being a nice guy. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. That sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.